All right, guys, it is another stormy, gloomy day here in the end times in paradise. We have somehow made it without drowning to Thursday, April 28th, 2016, I believe. So with all the rain and stuff, I can't bring my little electronic umbilicus, my computer, with me on this rant. So I'll just have to wing it. Uh... So without my computer, I'm sorry I cannot shout out the uh, my Alert Tribes member. I'm, I'm sorry, brother, I can't remember your name, who suggested this rant to me. And so here goes the rant, perhaps not the rant that this uh, Alert Tribes member was expecting. And this was... He was looking for a rant on this series of YouTube videos, apparently. I guess there's up to part five or six called Whited Out. Whited Out. And I made it, I don't know, I guess I watched about 10 or 15 minutes. It was actually part two of the series, and every one of these Whited Out videos is over two hours so they're probably up to 15 hours by now. Basically, this uh, series of videos, and this is just based on 10 or 15 minutes of watching episode two, but I'm, so I'm perhaps, because I have not watched the rest of the series, I'm jumping to conclusions here when I state that what White It Out is, is just your latest no shit Sherlock attack on Honky. The, uh, the great earth shattering information for those of us who are not aware of it that it is Honky. White folks, probably particularly white males that are to blame certainly more than, than anybody else on any level for the state of this planet the state of consciousness on this planet, everything else, and it's just just going through history, looking at probably 10,000 examples of how it is all Honky's fault. All Honky's fault for the shape we are in. That was now guys, but before, before you start branding me a, a racist, I, you know, guys, I, I cannot make it too abundantly clear, Coming, being a white male myself, uh, I 100% agree with the statement that if you are looking at the state of this planet and if you have to look at one group that is probably more responsible for the state of this planet than any other group, it would be white folks, particularly white males. Yes. Okay. So if that is your skin deep analysis of what is going on on, the, on this planet, then you don't need to watch six episodes of a two and a half hour barrage of information accusing Honky of, of every genocidal, ecocidal crime since day one. All right. Now, with that being said, with that being said, I can also state uh, as a white male that, that, that anybody who thinks in the year 2016 that from this point forward at least that you can blame honky and only honky for what is unraveling on this planet today I got, got one thing to tell you You know, guys, it, it, it has nothing to do with skin color. 
it is not the white race taking down this planet. It is the human race. I don't give a flying fuck what color you are anymore. Uh, yeah. As uh, how many rants have I had uh, about my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Jared Diamond, for instance. That white guy. Particularly his books, Guns, Germs, and Steel, oversimplifying his thesis that is the only reason that my last name isn't something like Running Wolf or whatever is because Honky simply thought of it first. We were the first race to have the technological ability to wreak the havoc on our fellow humans and in my opinion more importantly our fellow earthlings than any other race we simply thought of it first which is the reason we have been so successful as a race Yes, uh, great success. The, the pinnacle of, uh, of Homo sapien, the wise one, the white male. Oh, yeah, but let, let, let's, uh, let, let's just flash forward a few centuries from the invention of guns, and I think it was the yellow race, actually, that invented gunpowder. If I'm not mistaken, didn't the yellow race invent gunpowder? Uh, we'll talk about the yellow race, uh, the yellow horde, uh, in, in a minute. Uh, flash forward a few years, particularly well, as long as we're talking about the yellow race, flash forward to about 1978. When uh, Richard Outhouse Nixon and Henry Kissinger, those two uh, white boys, uh, pretty much handing off the baton to the yellow horde to take over where we left off. So those races that we were unsuccessful and apps, you know, and just completely wiping off the face of the planet. Uh, we taught them everything they know today about taking over the white boy model as every single race on this planet falling all over themselves in a race to, to learn everything about everything from genocide to ecocide that honky has to teach them. You know? And uh, just, you know, I, I only watched 15 minutes of this. I'm only, I'm only going to address two of the topics that, that I listened to for a few minutes. Of course, there is the slavery, the slavery uh, argument. Apparently, listening to this, to this uh, whited out video, that white folks are the only people who have ever owned slaves, and the only people who have ever been enslaved are black folks. Anybody who thinks that white folks are the only people who have ever owned slaves in the history of humanity got one thing to tell you. And I suggest you go over to Indonesia, perhaps. I'm just throwing out Indonesia to look at modern day slavery on fishing ships. Uh, the little brown slave owners owning the little brown slaves. And, uh, and, and this inconvenient truth 
about slavery. Uh, take it from this old southern white boy whose great granddaddy, apparently, I great or great great grandfather of mine, killed by his slaves. Uh, who do you think the slave traders, the white slave traders in America, were buying their slaves from in Africa? Do you, do you think? that it was a bunch of honkies from Europe invading Africa, going in there uh, with their, their guns, germs, and steel, invading the jungles of, of West Africa, rounding up slaves and, and putting them on the ship. Do you, does anyone have some delusion that it was honky who originally caught the slaves. We have to have a little historical reality check. It was the other African tribes who had the technology, the superior ability to round up the slaves. It was the black slave traders on the African end of the equation who were going out into the jungle or wherever, into all these villages all over there in Western Africa, rounding up the slaves. Okay? Probably killing, no telling how many in the process of enslaving their black brothers and sisters and then selling their black brothers and sisters to Honky. They were the ones bringing the slaves to the slave ships. I think uh, Randy Newman has an ironic song about this very, uh, this very thing I'm talking about. I wish I could, uh, I wish I could remember the name of that song. And of course, while I'm thinking of, of great ironic songs about white people, uh, would be White Boys by Terry Allen. If you have never heard the song White Boys by, <laughs> by Terry Allen, probably somewhere in this series, White It Out, the single greatest song ever written about, about white people. We're white boys. If we see it standing, we gotta knock it down. <coughs> so anyway, I just wanted, I just wanted to, to clear up that little, that little inconvenient truth about slavery. And let's see, and the other one, of course, then I went in to about Honky getting in here in the genocide of the Native Americans. Uh, you know, where we, where we get into this whole, uh, this whole noble savage myth that I have talked about how many times that all of these bleeding heart liberals such as uh, Derek Jensen and Chris Hedges among others uh, pointing out correctly that Christopher Columbus uh, perhaps the single biggest genocidal maniac in the history of the planet and Right here on St. Croix, I did not realize this, that right here on this very island where I am sitting, this is one of the four places that Christopher Columbus landed. He, he got here in 1493, right where I'm sitting probably, what was a native Indian village. What did, uh, what did that honky do right here on St. Croix? In 1493, he pulled his ship in, he got off the ship and started killing people. You know, anybody uh, denying that, Christ, that that honky Christopher Columbus uh, wasn't one of the single biggest uh, genocidal maniacs uh, on the, in the history of the planet. Got got one thing to tell you. Take but the the inconvenient truth 
for the little bleeding heart liberals talking about what a monster that honky Christopher Columbus was, just conveniently forgetting the fact that when honky got here uh, and, and started wiping out uh, all of the uh, all of the red people here who were not a, who did not have the technology to defend themselves against the invading hordes was if uh, what exactly is your idea of what let, let's just talk in terms of, of how they treated other humans uh, I, I, I am quite sure that all of these tribes just lived in, in absolute, you know, just blissful peace and harmony, and that there was no intertribal warfare thing. That's uh, the, the Aztecs. The Aztecs. There you go. Uh, the Aztecs. Uh, there, there's, there's a bunch of goddamn pacifist peaceniks. Jesus. Uh, and then, of course, the, the, the you know, now, at least the 15 minutes that I've watched this thing didn't get into the whole, they were talking about just the genocidal aspects of Honky. So I don't know if any of these other uh, parts of the series talking about the planet-eating aspects, which, of course, is what this eco-Nazi uh, is concerned about there is the, the small inconvenient truth that when Honky landed landed here in this neck of the woods uh, let's call it 500 years ago that what Honky sailed into was an already destroyed ecosystem this absolutely unadulterated horseshit that that Native Americans, Native Americans, who are every bit as much of an invasive species as any other human in the Americas, uh, looking for invasive species, uh, by the time Honky got here, the, the Native Americans without ever even inventing guns, had already pretty much liquidated, uh, the, you know, the large megafauna uh, in, in North and South America. Uh, you know, I've heard the debate. I've heard the debate. You know which side I fall out on. Uh, what is it? Fifteen complete genera, not even species. I'm talking about orders of magnitude of large mammals taken out by the red man before Honky ever got here. We're just batting cleanup as far as what Honky has done since we arrived on the scene to pick up uh, where the, the, the noble savage left off. Yeah, now of course, guys, uh, believe me, if now, now don't get me wrong, if, if, if we had gotten here before the red man, we would have done the same thing that the red man did. You know, guys, it doesn't matter wherever humans, I don't give a shit what color they are, and this has been proven over and over and over and over and over again in uh, the archaeological record that whenever humans arrive somewhere where there were no humans before, what you see pretty much overnight is the the earthlings that were not part of the human race that live 
there before took it in the short and curlies. Look at Madagascar. Look at New Zealand. Australia before the Aborigines got there. You know? And now, of course, I don't, you don't even get me off on, on a damn uh, African rant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there, there's a bunch of, uh, bunch of peace-loving, uh, easy-on-the-earth folks. Our black brothers and sisters over there in, in, uh, in, in sub-Saharan Africa. Yeah, uh, there, there's some real peace nicks. What, what percentage of the, the international war crimes court is, is full of sub-Saharan Africans? My God! Look up Boko Haram. How about the Rwandan genocide? Oh yeah, there, 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 there's some real peace, peace nicks over there. We don't, we don't have any black on black violence going over there on Sub-Saharan Africa, and and they sure are living in balance. Yeah, there you go. There, 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 there there's the most balanced uh, race on the on the planet, the Africans. And uh, don't even get me going on the black on black violence uh, here in our own country. Right here on this island. Within five miles from me. I, my guess is that, my guess is on St. Croix, I'm just guessing here that pretty close to 100% of the murders on St. Croix are black on black. I'm quite sure black male on black male from St. Croix to Chicago. You know? It ain't the brothers killing the honkies, it's the brothers killing their brothers. Uh, for you can you, you, you can uh, sit here and analyze this till the cows come home. It doesn't change the essential fact. Humans are humans. We we are bloodthirsty, genocidal. We are bloodthirsty, murderous, rapacious, genocidal, ecocidal maniacs. And obviously, where this rant is heading towards is the yellow horde, the devouring dragon uh, in China and their little brown counterparts, the crouching tiger in India. Uh, good God Almighty. If, if, if anybody on this planet has learned everything they know about being genocidal, ecocidal maniacs, it, it would be those guys. And, uh, and that's why I say, it, 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 at this point, guys, uh, it, if honky, it, if every single honky on this planet were to die today, if we could make every honky on this planet go poof, here's what you would have in sub-Saharan Africa with zero help from honky and probably even without any help from the yellow horde, we would have the black brothers pretty much uh, it would, Sub-Saharan Africa would just keep on descending I into the, uh, the festering shithole that it is, uh, as genocidal rampages continue 
to ramp up uh, from black on black violence and more importantly with no help from the rest of the planet the sub-saharan africans alive today will will whether or not the rest of the planet disappears they will drive into oblivion every single every single other species of earthling they share africa with if nothing else they're just going to eat them uh, they don't need any help from honky to continue their ecocidal genocidal rampage my only hope at this point is, is that the fuckers kill each other before and they leave a few other uh, uh, of their fellow Africans alive over there. You know, before that black plague, talk about the black death, go to Sub-Saharan Africa if you want to see uh, the end times. And finally, we... Uh, getting back to uh, my, my favorite of all, the yellow horde, the devouring dragon of China. And how many times have I said this, and I will say it one more time, pretty much, I, I said it, not, not, not only if Honky disappeared off the face of the planet, if... if, if if Africa just killed and ate itself off the planet, honky went poof, uh, the yellow horde, the devouring dragon of China with no help from the rest of this planet from this point forward and going back to 1978, Again, thanking those two honkies, Richard Nixon and, uh, and Henry Kissinger, the devouring dragon will take down this planet. So yes, honky has passed the baton to the yellow horde. And, uh, smoke them if you got them. I don't give a shit if you're white, black, brown, red, yellow, or, or, or pink and purple polka dotted. If you're a human, you have in your DNA bloodthirsty, genocidal, ecocidal maniac it is the human race taking out this planet i think i've made myself pretty clear on that one so uh i will wrap up today's rant and uh and what i'll figure that out what sort of genocide and ecocide your all bloodthirsty honky can inflict on this planet today. I think I'm gonna probably go take out a factory farmed pig is where I'm headed. Bye guys. And you, you little, you little genocidal maniac. What do you want to do? You say, Papa, I want to take out some crabbies, some lizards and some crabbies. Bye, guys.